ever think about making your own game? Yeah, me too. There's just something about bringing an idea to life, you know? It's a whole different level of creative expression. Totally. And with game engines like Godot popping up, it's becoming more and more accessible. Especially Godot, right? Being open source and all. Right. That's what we're diving into today, the Godot engine. What it's all about, why it's got everyone talking, and maybe even inspire some of you listeners to give game development a shot. Sounds like a plan. So first things first, what does open source even mean for, like, a game engine? Well, think of it like this. Imagine a game engine where anyone can look under the hood, see how it works, suggest improvements, even add their own features. Whoa, that's pretty wild. Yeah, that's the beauty of open source. And with Godot, it means anyone can use it to make a game completely free, no strings attached. No licensing fees, no royalties, nothing. Just pure game making freedom. That's pretty amazing for indie devs who are just starting out or anyone on a budget, really. Absolutely. It levels the playing field. But don't let the free part fool you. This isn't some bare bones engine. Godot can handle some seriously impressive projects. Seriously. We're talking 2D games, 3D games, even those fancy XR experiences that are all the rage now. It's surprisingly versatile. And here's a kicker. Remember how we talked about reaching more players? Godot's got you covered. Because you can make your game once and put it everywhere. Exactly. Desktop, mobile, even the web. Plus, with a little help from third-party tools, you can even get your game running on consoles. Talk about expanding your audience. That's huge. Okay, so I got to admit, when I first started digging into Godot, I saw the words node and scene system, and I kind of froze. Yeah, it sounds a bit intimidating at first, doesn't it? Totally. But then I realized... It's actually pretty cool. Think of it like building blocks or Legos, if you're into that. Each element in your game, a character, a tree, whatever, it's a node. Right, each with its own specific purpose and properties. Exactly. And you arrange those nodes, connect them, and boom, you've got yourself a scene, a level, or whatever you want to call it. It's a really visual and intuitive way to build your game world, even if you're not a coding whiz. And speaking of coding, Godot gives you options. You can use their own language, GDScript. Or go with something like C Sharp, C++, even your own language if you're feeling adventurous. That's what I really appreciate about Godot. They cater to both new and experienced developers. If you're comfortable with languages like C Sharp, jump right in. If you're starting fresh, GDScript is designed to be easier to pick up. Everyone wins. It's like they really thought about making game development less intimidating. Oh, and for all the pixel art lovers out there, yeah. Godot's 2D rendering engine is a dream come true. No blurry pixels, just crisp, beautiful sprites, even when you scale them up. Ah, yes, that's the beauty of true 2D pixel coordinates. Can you break that down for us? Sure. You see, some engines treat 2D as like a simplified 3D space, and that can make things look kind of fuzzy, especially when there's movement. But Godot, Godot's all about that true 2D love, so every pixel stays exactly where it should be, perfect for that retro aesthetic. That attention to detail is awesome. But let's circle back to the open source thing for a sec. It's more than just free software, right? It's about being part of this whole community. 100%. Every bug report, every line of code contributed, every suggestion makes Godot better for everyone. So I could actually contribute to Godot even if I'm not a coding expert. Absolutely. Even if you're just starting out. Maybe you're great at spotting typos, jump into documentation, encounter a bug, report it. Those contributions might seem small, but they add up and they make a real difference. That's the magic of open source. That's amazing. And if you're like me and coding isn't your forte, but you still want to show your support, Godot has a development fund. You can toss in a few bucks and help keep this awesome engine going strong. It's a great way to give back. And who knows, maybe your contribution will help fund the development of the next big feature. Exactly. It's like we're all part of making Godot even better. So to wrap things up, if you had to choose... What kind of game would you create with Godot? Mm. And what unique challenges and opportunities do you think the whole open source aspect would bring to the table? Ooh, that's a great question. Something to ponder, right? Yeah. Leave it to our listeners to imagine the possibility. Exactly. Think about it, folks. What would your Godot game be?